All right, to begin, let's add an additional video track to our timeline by clicking this plus button at the top of the timeline and selecting Add Video Track. Now that we have two video tracks, I'm going to drag my video footage onto the bottom track. And I'll drag the image I'd like to animate onto the track above it. For the next steps, it's a good idea to zoom into your timeline by holding down the control key on your keyboard and scrolling with your mouse. Next, let's double click our image on the timeline, then select Picture in Picture from up here. And I'll just move and resize my image in the video preview. Now to animate the image, make sure it's selected on the timeline, and then click the More button. In here, select Animation. Under the Easy tab, Movavi has a bunch of built-in animations that you can play around with. You can double-click any of the animations to preview them. So if I were to drag the slide ready animation onto my clip, my image would slide from outside the frame to the middle of the frame. Whenever you add one of these animations, Movavi will add these circular keyframes to your clip. If we double click the first keyframe, it's going to show us the starting point of the animation. We don't really see anything though because it's starting from outside the frame. But if we double click the second keyframe, we'll see the ending point of the animation. You can move the image around in the frame to change where the animation ends for that second keyframe. To change the speed of an animation, just drag the second keyframe closer or further from the first keyframe. And to change when the animation starts, just drag the line between your two keyframes to reposition them. Now this looks good, but let's say you want to move your image back out of the frame after a while. To do that, since my image came in from the left side, I'm going to drag the leftward animation onto my clip after the first two keyframes. Now when I play this back, my image slides in from the right and back out, but it gets repositioned in the middle when it hits the third keyframe since that's where the default leftward animation starts from. To fix this, let's double click our third keyframe, and then position the image over this faded version of it which represents its position during the last keyframe. Okay, now when I play this back, my image slides in and then back out from the correct positions. To increase how long your image holds its position in the frame, just drag your third keyframe further from the second. Alright, this works good, but I'm going to undo this to show you another way to do animations using the Advanced tab. First, let's position the playhead to where we want our animation to start on the timeline. Then go up to the Animations Advanced tab, and click the Add Animation button, which will add two keyframes to your clip. Now, to do our slide animation from before, I'm going to double click my first keyframe to see the animation starting point in the preview. Then I'll just move my image off screen on the left side. Next, I'll double click my second keyframe to see its ending point in the preview, and I'll position my image to where I want it to move to. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a simple looking custom animation. You can add additional keyframes by positioning the playhead to where you want your next keyframe, and then clicking the Add Keyframe button. Now simply move your image in the preview to where you want it to go after the second keyframe. Alright, now my animation moves two times. And that's it for this tutorial, thanks for watching and see you next time.